Tau. Hey there, how you doing? I'm in Michigan right now, and I'm on the hunt for cool geocaches. And I'm not sure about this one, although it has over 100 favorite points, it looks like a pretty uh, odd area for a TV hotel. Kind of hard to get to, but you never know. And oh, I think this is gonna be a cool cache. Take a look at this. Yeah. Definitely a cool cache. Check this out. That is way, way cool. St. John's TB Hotel. Oh yeah. Look at that. Whoa. I'm thinking there's some TBs resting in here. Let's take a look. There, log book. And oh yeah. There be some TVs, all right. There's quite a few of them there, hanging out in the lobby. And I'm gonna check those out, see if some wanna go to Canada. This one looks like it already came from Canada, so I'm not gonna take it back home. I'll let this one travel on. And Scotty the Snowman, he wants to go to cold places. And you know what they say about Canada, it's the Great White North, it should be pretty cold there. And this one here, the Holly Hart, it wants to go north. Well, guess what? I think uh, going to Canada might be going north. Although, you know, where I live is actually east of Detroit. It's not really north at all. Well, I'm all signed in and I took two TBs and I'll check their destinations just to make sure I don't take them somewhere they don't wanna go. So we'll get this put back. So there you go, off to some more cool geocaches. Come along, I bet you they're gonna be fun. Oh look, the sun popped out. And check this out, another TV hotel. It looks like it could be a good one. Check it out, watch this. Well, the sun's up, just like now. Boom! It's a Geo Motel. This is awesome. Look at that. And there's actually, look at that. And there's some residents there in the motel. Wow, that is really cool. Hey, and look, replacement log right here. The log sheet is the lid. That's really cool. And this one is called Defins Geo Motel. And the cash owner has given me permission to show you this here in outlying Detroit. This is awesome. What a really cool geo motel. And there's more cool geocaches come up. Stick with us. I think the next one is going to be really, really awesome. This next one is really, really cool. The CEOs, Dave and Mary, gave this permission to show this one, and it is one of the best geocaches I've ever seen. I, I don't know if I've done one like this or not, but I'm sure maybe some of you have, and let us know in the comments below, because this is a pretty cool gadget cache. Let's take a look. It's mounted right here on this wall uh, in the back of a parking lot of, of an Italian restaurant, and it even says right, right here what it is. You know, it's an official geocaching game piece, and it, you know, you can't get in, there's, there's nothing to, to do, there's no lock or anything like that. But this isn't the total of the geocache, this is just one piece. And in order to get into this, you've got to go way down there and uh, put in a special code. And let's go check that out. So here we're at the other end, and this is the works of the, the cache, but the logbook is way down there. And in the middle, if you can see, this is a protected solar panel in a box. So it's got power all the time. So you don't have to worry about a geocache that you have to insert batteries or where the batteries have worn out and the CO needs to come and keep changing. He's got that all worked out. It's all mounted right here secure. And this is awesome. So what you can do is just, you have to open this right up. It's not even locked or anything, which is kind of amazing. But you open that up and you hear a noise 
and it says greetings you know it tells you all about you what you found and if you're not sure where to go to get more information about it but then you look here and there's a keypad and you have to punch in just the right number so let's try uh, this one that's no that's not right uh, no I, that's not right either I don't know what to, what you got to do but oh, I know you check the cash page and that will pretty much tell you what you need to do so this one is called Billy Joel's scenes from an Italian restaurant now I know who Billy Joel is but I've never heard of scenes from an Italian restaurant and I guess that's befitting because it's right behind Luigi's Italian restaurant and pizzeria so I wonder do you know what you have to do to get this one because it took me just a little bit and I figured it out in order to get the code it all has to do with Billy Joel and the name of that song can you tell what it is don't put it in the comments just say yes I know I think I figured it out so I'm gonna go try let's see if I can get in so I'm gonna put the code in but I can't show you what it is so here we go I'm gonna put it in oh I heard a click I just go see if I can get in it won't open hmm Gonna try that again. So put the code in. Oh, click. Oh, oh, I know. I gotta be faster. That's it. I gotta be really fast. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put the code in. See if I can get there fast. Click. It. Oh, almost. Almost. Okay. Whew. I'm getting tired. Ready? Click, click, click. I got it. I'm in. Woohoo! That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, I'm in. And there's the cash. Now, wasn't that a cool one to find? Awesome. All signed up and good to go. So we'll just put that back in. Now, the trick is to get it locked up, you got to put the code in to let the latch lock up and then pop it shut. Okay, I popped in the code once again, and it's nice and securely locked and ready for the next person to have some fun. Hey, thanks for joining me here in Michigan as I work my way through to retirement, geocaching along the way, and we'll get back together with Lyric Glass soon enough. But there's more geocaching out there. What does she say? There's more geocaches to find, and where will geocaching take you? See ya. Wow, what an awesome cache. I think I'm in.